because this is not the T this is not TMZ sports. This is the NFL bet exchange. Sorry. Right, so pretty much let's go ahead and get into the saints two and two, the Pats one and three over under a 39. Um, pretty much a pick them, Jeff minus one. It's going to be a pick them at kickoff or it will probably sleep slightly lean to the saints because you know, a lot of people don't believe in the Patriots anymore. After what happened to Mac Jones last week, a lot of people probably have this idea that the Patriots are done. This is probably Belichick's last season. It's definitely Mac Jones' last season. And the Patriots are now in the rebuild phase of their franchise after a 20-year run of being the best team, being one of the best teams in the NFL most years, and then the best team in the NFL for most years in that as well, too. So, you know, the good times are pretty much done in Foxborough. And, you know, good that you guys have guys like the Don of Cape Cod, Jeff here, who's seen some of the worst days New England Patriot fans have ever seen. You know what I mean? So he knows. I know. Because I was introduced to a team that was 1-15 in, in 1990. You know, and that's what and people don't bring that up that much. But that was one of the most lousiest teams I've ever seen in my life, Jeff, to be honest with you. And, you know, oh, and when you were lousy in the 90s, that was really bad because teams actually tried in the 90s, unlike today. So um, I look at this game and I say the Saints are a team that is going through the motions of figuring out who their true quarterback truly is. And I feel like Dennis Allen played favorites way too much, but you got to do it because you overpaid Derek Carr to be your quarterback. So you have to – so if the guy says he's ready to go, you, you're you going to believe that he's ready to go. But a smart coach would have said, you know what, I'm going to sit you on the bench this week because we blew a game last week because you weren't good in that game last week. We blew a game – we almost blew a game week one because you weren't good in that game either. And week two, we just won because we just beat a team that's not that good yet. So what are we doing here, Derek? You know what I mean? The, are the rumors true that, you know, pretty much you're the reason why teams literally lose games? Because it's crazy to me that he took the same situation that happened to him eight times in Vegas, takes it to New Orleans the first time uh, out, and boom, he loses 18 to 17. Same situation, double-digit score. He's up. Then he gets his socket hurt, and they lose the game 18 to 17. Now you see that Derek Carr puts way too much pressure on his defenses. The Raiders, you know, we were really bagging hard on the Raiders' defense, but, you know, if, if a guy just keeps putting you out there on the field, damn, how good can you be? You know what I mean? So, you know, when are the, the, the Saints going to realize that Derek Carr is a quarterback that's regressing? There might be a little bit more to that uh, shoulder injury than most think because that was a problem in uh, Vegas and Oakland as well, too. So, you know, if you know Derek Carr, you know that he has some lingering injuries. And you know that Jameis Winston does deserve a chance to show that he can be a starter in this league. He was the number one overall uh, pick. You know what I mean? And I feel like the Saints have to play favorites because Dennis Allen and Derek Carr's relationship. But you know that you should give Jameis Winston a shot to be your starting quarterback because he probably gives you a better chance to win these games. But you know me, I'm a Jake Hayner guy. So I'm just waiting for Jake to be uh, reactivated and he's probably going to be the starter by week 10. So we'll see how it goes. But all in all, I know Bill Belichick has this one scripted up game plan very well. And the last time he coached up against Dennis Allen and Derek Carr, you know what happened in that game, Jeff. It was an absolute just beat down. And I know they got a way different team from that point back in 2016 till now or 2013, 2014, whenever that game was. But I'm going to keep it real with you, Jeff. I feel like the Patriots will be playing pissed off come Sunday. I'm taking them with the minus 125, not just to beat the Saints, but to beat down the Saints. I think that they're going to have their best game of the season come Sunday because after that whoop beat down that they caught in Dallas, Belichick is ripping everybody in a mama all week long. And they ain't want to, they don't want to hear any more crap coming out of his mouth. So they they're gonna win this game. 
You know, it's so funny. The narrative that you started is the narrative all over America, all over social media, all over ESPN, all over Fox. Uh, I'll add the fact that Mr. Judon and Christian Gonzalez out indefinitely. How come I'm the only person in the whole wide world that has to say this? No one's bringing this up, Bob. Not one person but myself. They're one in three. Yes, they beat the Jets. Their three losses, Philadelphia, 4-0. and oh. Dallas, 3-1. and one. Miami, 3-1. and one. That's 10-2 and two combined with all those teams. Can you name another team in the NFL that has played three teams that are 10 or 2 or better? You can't. But not, not one person has brought that up. They're only bringing up the fact that they're 1 and 3. They're done. Bill's dead man walking. And they're bringing him back. Mac Jones stinks. Yada, yada, yada. Okay? You hit it spot on. Pat's money line, even without chewed on, even without Christian Gonzalez. I think you, as you like to say in these, throw the alternate line there. Three and a half, six and a half. Okay, this is going to be a beatdown from, from the opening kickoff. And please, someone on social media, please, ESPN, Fox, Stephen A. Smith, Pat McAfee, someone, bring up the fact that they've lost to three teams with a combined 10-2 and two record. I dare you. That's it. You know, that, you know, that doesn't fit with the – you know they got to dog the Patriots anytime they get to them. You know that. Because the Patriots literally put the they put this if if Dirt Vader was an actual person it would be the Patriots in the NFL.